so off we go. Um, I mean, in terms of you're, you're, you're lucky enough to have that exposure across a wide variety of organisations using different models. What do you think is, I guess, maybe uh, your top tip and your biggest pitfall? The CEO has been mandated to do some innovation stuff. What that is, is completely undefined. Just do innovation. And we come in and go, great, so what do we need to do? Innovation. Y y yeah, but like, what are you hoping to achieve? Uh, innovation? Um, so yeah, we have had situations like that and therefore our remit very quickly turns from doing innovation to just helping them figure out what their business strategy is or why they're trying to do innovation. What are the innovation cliches that make you cringe? Ideas. Ideas are cheap. They matter. I've got an idea. Oh, good for you. Well done. Um, you know, you can run crowdsourcing and come up with a thousand ideas. Cliches. When people refer to the foundry as a lab, I find that cliche really <laughs> annoying personally, but um, it's just disrespectful. The topic of today's uh, seminar is do innovation labs work and or is disruption just a better word? It's good because I'm not running a lab, so actually I cannot answer. <laughs> <laughs> not retrofit a cool technology because blockchain or VR or AR is cool, but trying to understand what business problem we're trying to solve where we can potentially fill a gap using and leveraging technology from, from startups. Like when I started I was cheap, it's just me and three people and a table from Ikea. And it's cheap, it's cheap, it's cheap, it's cheap. And so we can make lots of success with great ROI. If you start with a big 10 million, 20 million dollar lab, you, you've just got the debt and then people are on you. I think there's been a handful of good labs and a hell of a lot of really not good ones. If you're looking at business performance, if but then again, if your goal was just to get PR, then there's a hell of a lot of successful labs as well, right? So it depends which race you're running in and how you really want to measure success. What do you define as uh, success in, in an innovation initiative? The first part of the journey of Foundry, our KPIs were about piloting and the number of people coming to the events we were organizing internally. Today, uh, the KPIs are about uh, impact on the business in dollars. I think measuring innovation is kind of useless. I think the only way you truly talk about it is, is the company headed in the right direction or making the positive steps on the culture, and that is an executive qualitative conversation. Uh, because, because we work on culture, you know, we, we're, you know, we run thousands, and, you know, we put thousands and thousands of people through training. It's very difficult to pinpoint that exact value. So we do a lot of award, more award-winning products than before. How can you say, though, that was due to innovation? How do we know if we took innovation out? We don't, we don't have parallel worlds that we can A-B test across. Uh, the ultimate measure is, you know, I still got a job. So, and I still get my bonus. And that's, that is actually pretty much it. Um, Why do we want to innovate? Why do we want to do new stuff? So that we still have a business model five, 10 years from now. It's probably going to be a different business model. The way we make money today is going to be very different. Pure and simple, if most corporates just focus that simply, they'd do a lot better at innovation. Round of uh, amazing speakers. Thank you. <laughs>